follow me, slush and sludge and slide. It's winter, but there's almost no snow, and we want to play snowballs. Let's help Olaf and make a lot of snow. For this, we will need styrofoam and a utility knife. Cut a styrofoam ball in half and tear small pieces off it with your hands. We get real snowflakes, and they are so satisfying to touch. They are soft and they don't melt. Yay! We have been waiting for first snow for so long. We can finally play <laughs> snowballs. Oh, not so soon. I haven't put my gloves on yet. Hide behind me, guys. Now we'll give them a hard time. I think we know another winter entertainment, and we are not talking about sledges. This is a shadow show, and we'll stage a real performance. Oh, this box will be perfect for our plan. Olaf and his friends will help us with our idea. They are already coming to the rescue. Oh, 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 hurry up! Are we on time? Take an A4 sheet of paper and a pencil. Place the sheet onto the side of the box and trace it. Cut a hole in the box along the outline using a utility knife. Now we have a screen for our theater stage. Measure a rectangle that has five and 12 and a half inch sides using a ruler. Carefully cut it out with a utility knife. Cut a circle on the back of the box. In order to make the lighting for our little theater more interesting, we will need a regular table lamp. Don't forget about a power strip. Let there be light. What do we have here? Whoa! A lamp with a remote control? It's possible it's cooler than a TV. Artist, change the color. Silence! We unpacked the magic wand. Now we'll make miracles happen. Wow, we can make actual performances with lighting like this. And here are the first guests. Hello, Olaf. Hello, snowmen. Our snow coats are glowing. But it's still too early for us to take a break. We need to finish our shadow show. Attach a lamp to the side of the box. Use white paper and pieces of tape to make the theater screen. Oh, guys, what did you do here? You mixed up all the tools. Huh? What did we do? We didn't do anything. Olaf offered playing hide and seek. We will need felt, a hot glue gun, fabric, tool, faux fur, and a ribbon. Divide felt into four parts. The size of each part is six and a half by 20 inches. Cut two straight pieces with scissors. Cut tool to fit the sides of the curtain into two identical pieces. Hot glue the tool to the fabric. Decorate the edge of the curtain with fur and fasten it with hot glue. Attach curtains to both sides of the stage using a hot glue gun. In order to hide the joining, decorate the top with a ribbon. Gather the curtains and fasten them with hot glue. Make bows out of a ribbon. Fasten the bows to the curtains so they are symmetrical. Whoa! Our theater turned out so wintry! It's breathtaking! Next thing you know, Snow Queen comes to our performance. Where are you, babies? Are you hiding from me again? Please don't tell me I came up with this game afterwards. There you are, silly boy. Who's making noise over there? Hey, come out. Oh, the show is starting. It's our turn. Guys, go backstage. We need to prepare a performance. We'll be performing Frozen. I have already told everyone there will be a lot of guests. I'm too small for that. That's fine. I'll help you. Come on, hop in. We are making theater decorations. We will need the following. A3 sized paper silhouettes of a castle, a town, a winter forest, and Elsa's ice castle. A3 black cardboard. Our little assistants are bringing the tools. Good job. And here's the leader of the snow gang. Hello, Olaf. Look at how this baby is drawing. He is very talented. Olaf. He needs to go to an art school for sure. Carefully cut out a printed silhouette of a castle. 
There are so many towers. Don't miss anything. And of course, the main entrance. Place the silhouette on cardboard. Trace it with a white pencil. Oh, these towers again! And cut them out one more time. Second time should be easier. The castle is done. Bring your stuff, we're moving in. Cut out other decorations for the performance the same way. Make two silhouettes on one sheet of cardboard. This way we save cardboard and the planet. The spruce trees are very fragile, so you have to be extra careful with them. Our decorations turned out so exquisite! Also cut out printed figures of our characters. In order to make them move, we separately cut out the arms and attach them using thumbtacks. Voila! And Elsa can move her hands. Now that's ballet. Shade the thumbtacks so they aren't visible. Draw a winter pattern on the dress and carefully cut it out. It turned out so delicate. Hot glue the figure into stick and our Elsa is ready to go on stage. Do the same to Anna's silhouette. Third bell! Are you all ready? The performance is starting! Good evening, our dear friends! I'm very glad you all came here tonight. Right now? So fast? Well, enjoy the play! This story begins in a land far, far away. There were two sister princesses. Anna, the little sister, and Elsa, the big sister. It's finally summer at Arendelle Kingdom. Princess Anna wakes her sister up so they can play together. Elsa really loved making ice and snow right in the castle using magic. So she conjured up hills and slopes and a funny snowman Olaf for Anna. Everything went well until Elsa accidentally harmed her sister with magic. After a while, forest trolls found a remedy for Anna. And the parents gave Elsa gloves to control her magic. They closed the castle gate so no one found out her secret. Elsa was so afraid to hurt Anna that she started avoiding her. The years went by. The day of Elsa's coronation has come. Anna was looking forward for the gate to open. It was so exciting meeting guests, especially handsome Prince Hans. Elsa was getting ready to become a queen and was really anxious. She was trying to take off her gloves, but everything she touched froze. The entire night at the ball, Anna and Hans were dancing without stopping. The same night he proposed to her, and she said <laughs> yes. But when Anna told Elsa about it, the queen wasn't excited. Because Anna didn't know Hans at all. Queen Elsa didn't approve of Anna's marriage. Elsa turned away to leave. But Anna accidentally grabbed her hand and took her glove off. One move and everything was covered in ice. Elsa unwillingly froze everything around. She got scared for the lives of people and ran away. Elsa created an unusual ice castle high in the mountains, far away from her kingdom. For the first time in years, she felt free. Summer changed back into winter. Now there was snow everywhere. Anna wanted to help her sister. In addition to that, she needed to unfreeze the kingdom. Everyone is panicking. Anna left Hans in charge and went to search for Elsa in the mountains. Anna met Kristoff, an Iceman, in the forest. He knew where the coldest mountain was that Elsa was hiding at. The deer Sven was Kristoff's best friend. 
Kristoff agreed to help Anna. Soon afterwards, Anna, Kristoff, and Sven met a snowman named Olaf. Anna remembered him from her childhood. She was astonished by everything Elsa made out of ice. And all four of them went to look for Elsa. At last, our characters reached the marvelous castle. Anna met Elsa and asked her to stop winter. Anna said that Arendelle is all covered in snow. Elsa was horrified. She didn't know how to fix it. Anna saw that Elsa was disappointed. She was helplessly watching Elsa shooting ice out of her hands. Oh, what a nightmare! One of them hit Anna, and she started freezing because one of the ice pieces hit her heart. Now only true love could save her. Our four brave heroes came to the castle so Hans could break the spell with a kiss. However, Hans refused to kiss her. He actually didn't love Anna. <gasps> Hans just wanted to be the king of Arendelle. <laughs> Anna was desperate because Hans let her freeze. Hans lied to Elsa that Anna died because of her. Hans took out his sword. The same moment, Anna noticed that Hans wants to kill <gasps> Elsa. Anna wanted to save her sister, so she got in between Elsa and Hans. The sword hit Anna. Elsa's rescue was the sign of true love and Anna unfroze. Elsa removed the magical spell from the kingdom, and summer came. And of course, she conjured up a little winter for herself. The end. Hit the thumbs up if you like this performance at our Shadow Theater. And don't forget to subscribe. You'll see a lot of amazing stories on our channel.